Do you remember what we learnt in our last session? Absolutely correct. We learnt how to make a linear equation with one variable. Children, in this session, let's see how to solve linear equations with one variable. Look at this equation. We saw this equation in our last session. Now, let us try to find the value of x in this equation. We can think of an equation as a weighing balance. If the weight on both sides of the scale are the same, then the two sides are in balance. An equation is like this. The value of the expression on the left-hand side is balanced exactly with the value of the expression on the right-hand side. Think of numbers as weights. So our task is to find the value of x such that the balance of the equation is not disturbed. Can you think of a way to find the value of x? The procedure is to write only x in place of all these digits on the left-hand side. And, doing so, we have to remove something from the right-hand side in order to maintain the balance. If we succeed, then the value of x will be the number on the right-hand side. This is where thinking of an equation as a weighing balance helps us. We know if we add some weight on one side, then to keep the two sides in balance, we have to add the same weight on the other side. Similarly, if we remove some weight from one side, we have to remove the same weight from the other side as well. Similarly, in our equation, we can perform four operations. They are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So if we add a number on one side of the equation, then we have to add the same number on the other side. Similarly, if we subtract, multiply or divide, we have to do it on both sides. Now let's solve this equation. First, we can see it's easy to remove 50 from here. So, we subtract 50 from both sides. Now the equation becomes like this. What we get is 3 times x is equal to 30. So what should our next step be? Yes. We need to get rid of this 3. As 3 is being multiplied by x, we can get rid of 3 by dividing the term by 3. But then, we have to divide by 3 on the right-hand side also. Now 3 and 3 cancel each other on the left. And on the right-hand side, we can divide 30 by 3 to get 10. So ultimately, we get the value of x as 10. So in this session, we have learned how to solve the linear equation with one variable. In the next video, we will look at some more examples to understand how to solve such equations.